It's been a wet winter across the West Coast. A new tonight, a powerful storm making headlines as it bears down on the coast of California. Meteorologist Alan Rose joins us in studio. Alan, we're talking about the potential here of more than six inches of rain from this storm in California. Yeah, that's right, Rob. And really, that's just the tip of the iceberg. This powerful hurricane force low pressure system will also bring extremely heavy snow to the mountains, powerful swells of more than 20 feet to the coast, and wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour. Now, it's all part of an atmospheric river event that's going to bring several more rounds of heavy rain and snow to the state over the next week or week and a half. Atmospheric rivers, which are sometimes called the Pineapple Express, these are narrow bands of super concentrated moisture, and these tend to originate in the subtropical Pacific. When they encounter land, they can bring intense bursts of precipitation that can last for days. Now take a look at the forecasted precip totals here in California. Some unbelievable amounts of water heading towards NorCal over the next couple of days. Could see as much as six to seven inches of rain across the NorCal coast, and as much as two to four inches from LA, up through the Bay Area. Let's talk snow total. Snow level is going to be relatively high as this is a warmer weather system. So generally above 6,000 feet, but some of those spots above eight, 9,000 feet could squeeze out as much as 20 to 40 inches of snow. That's where the bulk of the moisture falls from the system. Some of it does linger and last and move its way into Utah Thursday into Friday morning. Areas here across the Wasatch Front could see as much as five to maybe 13 inches of snow. And for Colorado, we'll get some of those leftovers with mountain snow amounts sitting between about two and five inches in the Centennial State. Now, this particular atmospheric river event will largely miss Colorado. Other than some of those light mountain snow showers by Friday, some of that moves in Thursday night as well. And the reason why, partly because of its more northerly track, but also due to topography, i.e. the mountains. For example, the Sierra Nevada mountains will squeeze out excuse me, most of the rain and snow from the system before it even has a chance to reach us here in Colorado.